Hello, and I just wanted to welcome you to Arts 173. I'm just going to give you a quick little lecture and welcome you and let you know um, about how things are kind of running this class and what to expect. So this is, of course, computer graphics and web design, and I'm your instructor, Thor and Teague. Pretty much everybody calls me Thor, but um, I'll answer to either. And there's my email and contact information, and you don't really have to frantically scramble to write it down right this instant. It's also in the syllabus. Um, what is Arts 173, you might be wondering. So Arts 173 is a basic intro to web page design. Uh, it's a lot of work. I'm going to give you quite a few, um, quite a bit of information and quite a few different concepts to master. Um, you don't really have to code per se, but um, you're going to be looking at some code. It's not going to be too intimidating. And I'm going to try to introduce it gradually and walk you through everything. Um, you'll be provided with walk video walkthroughs of everything in the class. Um, we're a design class. That means basically you need to keep your eye on the visual aspect of things. In other words, make it pretty. Um, we build up with each module, meaning basically that um, you need the information from Unit 1 to finish Unit 2, and you need the information from Unit 2 to finish Unit 3, and so on. And it's a lot of fun, I think, so I hope you do too. <clears throat> we're going to do a lot through D2L. It's not all through D2L, but we're an online course of code. Uh, we're an online course, and the content will all be here. Um, we're going to have discussion forums for projects and things like that. Um, that artist date thing is wrong, actually, just project R&D and something I learned. There's a calendar of lectures and deadlines on D2L that I want you to keep watching, um, or I want you to keep checking at least once a week, because that can change from what you see in your syllabus, just depending. And grades will be there, and I want you to keep an eye on those as well. So you shouldn't be um, blindsided by your grade at any point in the semester. Uh, expectations, what, what's expected of you is to use Desire to Learn and Internet Web Searches. You should consult an LCC tutor as soon as possible if you're not comfortable using D2L, uh, as well as downloading and things like that. You have to understand file management for this class. It's completely crucial. Um, you can understand everything else in this class and get file management wrong and still fail the class in theory. So you have to understand file management. Um, you will probably be spending typically eight to ten hours a week on this class. That's not, you don't have to take the number two seriously. It's going to be more um, some weeks, it's going to be less other weeks, probably most weeks it'll be that or less. Um, and it also kind of depends on the individual. Um, some people are just faster learners than others. So um, you have to understand the difference between your local site and your live site, and that kind of goes back to file management. And um, you're responsible, you're expected to know all content, lecture, instructions, and textbook that have been assigned. If you have to turn in anything late, you have to email me. I will accept them up to one week past the due date, and that will be at a minus 20% penalty. I don't get a notification. I think some students think I get an automatic notification when you upload your websites, but I don't. So you have to email me to let me know that I need to go back and check and regrade something. That applies to if you want to just do, you, you turned in something on time, but you want to do a redo also. Uh, that applies. <clears throat> You have to be. You have to have some degree of digital literacy to be able to successfully complete this course coming in. Um, it's an online course. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's um, it's an easy like breeze through course. I'm not trying to make it hard. I'm trying to get you to learn the discipline. So um, there are some things that we need to work through. And to do that, we have to be able to communicate digitally. And to submit your homework, you have to be able to communicate digitally. So, And I'm talking about a level that goes beyond playing video games and using Facebook. It's You're going to see. And of course, I'll help you. 
um, any uh, any issues that you have with file management um, you can meet me in my office hour and we'll just walk through it together um, you are expected to manage your data this is 2014 and there's no reason that there should be um, a deadline missed for data loss or data mismanagement there's basically no excuse left for it at this in this day and age so I don't ex I don't accept that and there's only one place that you can submit your homework and that's the web space that you either have been or will be provided with shortly you will get a login and um, and a password or you already have gotten it that is the only place that you can submit your projects for this class and it's a live web space that you can send any it's on the actual internet so you can copy the URL and paste it to your Facebook page and send all your friends there and tell them to check it out and, which you should do you should pimp it out um, now expectations are a two-way street so I want to hear what you expect of me as your instructor so I would like you to share that in your first forum post and that'll be in your intro assignment. Um, Alright, let's take a look at D2L. Now I'm gonna have a few more areas open here because I don't have any restrictions on mine so probably the first thing you saw was start here and after this video has been playing for a certain duration of time the next couple of areas will open up for um, the first couple of units. So. Um, what I want to show you is just kind of what D2L is and how it works. The, the next thing that you're going to look at is going to be your syllabus. And that's in the Unit 0 Part A, First Day Handouts and Syllabus. So here's the syllabus. Um, this is the online activity that I mentioned earlier, Part 1 and 2. And these are um, these these files and links will be explained in the instructions which is up here and is something you should be probably reading for uh, each of these units so syllabus is your first assignment read the syllabus start to finish I know it's long and reading sucks but read it then there's a intro activity and it's got two parts again if you read the instructions basically you're gonna explore you're gonna look around D2L and post and you're gonna just post an introduction to yourself and you're gonna respond to these introductions I'm not gonna read these to you verbatim you are in an online class and the expectation is that you are a little bit self-motivated and you can read this stuff and work through it to not totally on your own but to some degree you're self-motivated so um, you get the idea that's the content section that's up here and there's a couple other sections that are of um, very very strong importance to us if I go back to the top of the course you're seeing a different course name because I'm looking at my master course but we're looking at about the same thing there's the calendar and right now I'm not going to click on this because it's not going to have anything in it but the calendar will have all the important dates and deadlines in it you want to check this um, and recheck it frequently because there will be if, if there are any changes they'll be up you'll see them here um, you won't see them obviously in the syllabus uh, the syllabus is a you know template it's if we need to shift things then you'll see that reflected here so that's the calendar your grades are right here where it says grades obviously and mostly everything else is in the content section and as you work through these units you'll see every piece that you need um, when you get to the point where you've uh, read the syllabus and you're kind of looking at this online activity or you, maybe you've started it then you're going to want to download the demo folder and to download it you can just click on it and there will be a download button right here just click download this is going to go in your downloads folder this is the kind of thing that I was talking about earlier you're expected to know how to kind of do this stuff um, and I'm 
willing to help to the degree that I can. So just contact me if you need extra help with that. Um, here's my zip file. It's sitting in my downloads folder, like I said before. Um, on a Mac, you can just double click that and unzip it. On a PC, uh, you can open it up like it's a folder, but you have to copy the contents out. And this has a whole bunch of different uh, tutorials in it that we're going to work through as the semester progresses. You can see it's organized by units. Let me sort this by name so it makes a little more sense. So you can see here it's organized by unit. Um, and you can take a look at any of these websites that you would like to take a look at just for fun. Um, on the Mac you can actually press uh, preview but if you have a PC you can just double click it and it'll open it into a browser. And it just looks like that. So this is the tutorial for Unit 1. Um, don't change anything in this demo folder but feel free to look through it. Every unit has a complete folder and they all have the roughly what you should end up with at the end of that um, tutorial. Obviously if it's if you don't get the exact same thing it's not a real big deal but at any rate <clears throat> um, you, we're gonna get more into that demo folder in unit one but whenever you have a moment just grab it and do the procedure just unzip it and take a look through it just to get it get a feel for what's there okay so that covers all that stuff. Um, let's go back to plagiarism and cheating. Uh, this is just something that I have to talk about because the um, department strongly recommends that we talk about it. Um, plagiarism is a cardinal subject in art and I need to help you understand what is and is not fair use. So, um, failing to understand that, whether it's intentional or not, can cost a creative company or individual millions of dollars. And I don't want that to happen. So, this is the simplest possible representation of what is and is not fair use. It's always okay on the left side of things, where it's on the green side, that's always okay. Draw or shoot your own imagery utilize material in the public domain, utilize royalty-free material you've paid for, use code snippets from web tutorials or on forums. That's typically expected. It's never okay to take someone else's image or web page and turn it in as is with your name on it, submitting another coder's program verbatim and claiming it's yours. Okay? So that's as simple as I can make it. If you want to play in the gray area in the middle, it can get a little weird. I will um, kind of work with you on this. If something that seems to be plagiarizing, then um, we'll talk about how to correct that. But if you do want to play in the gray area, here it is kind of on the spectrum. Uh, more towards the okay side of things is parody of existing copyrighted material using HTML CSS code from an online tutorial uh, is expected probably right in the middle of repurposing retool reappropriating existing material or HTML CSS code um, more on the not okay side of the spectrum publishing a photograph with the identifiable face of a subject who hasn't consented to being photographed and including copyrighted artwork in a photograph. That can get a little weird. Um, scavenging material is not forbidden, but it's um, not my preference. I want you to be creating your own imagery. If you're going to be using public domain sources and royalty-free material and scavenging images, you need to really make it your own by altering or repurposing it in some way. Um, scavenging little snippets of HTML, CSS code is typically something that is understood that it's 
going to happen when you put your web when you put your web pages and websites out there on the live internet it's very easy just to browse to them and look at the um, code view and just grab the code most web developers know this and accept it and just let it be so um, it, this still doesn't make it okay to copy somebody's web page a hundred percent and just turn that file in and say that's my design but bits of HTML CSS code you could borrow and that's acceptable if ever in doubt draw shoot or code it yourself all right that's it so let's um, do those forum posts and take a look at the syllabus take a look at the remaining content and we'll see you next week we're going to crack open D Dreamweaver